Matt, well, welcome to Hull City. Um, your first day at the club, how are you settling in and are you pleased to be a Hull City player? Yeah, I'm delighted to be here. Um, as soon as I heard a couple of days ago about the interest, I was straight on it and I'm glad to be here. Um, came in today and trained and enjoyed it with the lads, so it seems like a great club, so looking forward to get going. How did the move come about and, and what made it the right move for you? Just heard about it a couple of days ago and was ready to come back into the championship and, and play some games and hopefully I can do that with this club. You've spent the last two seasons in the championship, haven't you? How have you found that as a division? It's a tough league, everyone knows it, it's well documented. Um, it gives you different challenges every game, teams have different styles, but it's a very competitive league and it's one which I'm happy to play in. Do you feel that you've progressed as a player over those two years? Yeah, 100%. It's, you learn with every game, every game you play. and. As I said, it's a very intense league, so you're learning all the time and hopefully I can keep improving and keep learning here at this club. You spent the pre-season presumably with Everton. Have you been involved there at first team level or have you been with the under-23s there? I've been around the first team for pre-season uh, and then as more and more players got, came back, I was with the 23s for the last couple of weeks to get some games and get my full fitness. So I feel fit and I'm ready to go. Yeah. So did you feel that a low move was the best option for you again this season then to, to get that senior football? Yeah, definitely. It's senior games and first team football is, is what it's all about and it's what, what I want to do. So I'm glad to be here and hopefully I can play some games. Have you had a chance to speak to Grant McCann yet and, and what he's expecting of you? He was on the phone straight away. Um, spoke to him and I like, I like his ideas. He seems like he likes intense training and likes to play football. So I felt that would fit in with my style of play and I'm looking forward to working further with him. What are you looking forward to most about this season? My aim is to get in the team and stay in the team, so um, that's what I'm looking forward to, that challenge, and hopefully I can do that. Um, you'll have presumably played against us last season and possibly the season before. What do you remember of those occasions? I think we got beat. I have played last season, got beat 1-0 at the KC Stadium, from what I remember. Maybe 2-0, yeah, so um, it's not an easy place to come to, uh, and hopefully we can make it hard to come to this season as well. How much are you looking forward to getting started? Yeah, I can't wait now. I've, I've been waiting all pre-season to get a move sorted and to get somewhere where I can play first in football. So to be here now and to, to feel good and fit and be ready to go, I'm, I'm really pleased. Just in terms of your Everton career, did, is that door still open for you after this season, do you feel? I don't think so, no. no it's, um, I've been on loan quite a few times and there's been change of management. So I feel like I need to find a home now and, and somewhere to, to stay in. Could be here. With that in mind, it's, it is a big season for you then, isn't it? In terms 100%, of impressing? 100%. Every, every season's a big season, but for me to find somewhere where I can feel like it's my home and my club, then I'm looking to do that.